Good day. My name is March. Welcome to my tube. I'm a Hyoko Wise clown. An empath with an attitude. <laughs> Thought I'd do this outside today. It's a nice, beautiful morning. Cat's getting some cat time. Luminous lurking. I bet today would be a good day to go hunt for rainbows. It's those kind of clouds, you know? Set the line up. Line of sight. Line of sight with light. Anyway, I just like to give little brief talks on esoteric things. Um, spectrum is broad because I'm a spectrometer. Big dope. Anyway. Yesterday was Indigenous People Day. Happy Indigenous People Day. Think about what it would be like if the when that Columbus dude came over and instead of imposing their will and their power, some people have to power. We're all currency. Our heartbeat, electric charge. Some people have to draw to their own power source with external things money property prestige who's on their arm even if who is on their arm is no charm but if they look okay there's a lot of people there that, that I think that makeup thing is flashed in and flashed out it's how you know what the real deals are I think I was the last person on the earth to play farm town I just kept harvesting my crops because everybody else quit. <coughs> There's no longevity. There's no tenacity. Empathy? Well, that's me, you see. I'm an empath. I love music. I love nature. There was just a bluebird playing with the cat. I like people on a small scale. I like people on a large scale. But when these people contain... Oh, that's what I was going to say, empath, on the empath thing. Um, I watched a movie yesterday and I I did a terrible job explaining it. it the movie was PK. Kitty kitty! And it was made in India. And there's a man, tipsy. He came from outer space. He was an empath like, then they asked him how he communicated. He said, we just go by feelings. We all do. It's another movie they do that in two, two male roles. Macho, macho men had a complete exchange, no words. Sign language would be, a, ASL would be another example. But they keep changing that all the time too. What is it? It's like the C CPR thing. Which one do I do? Which one do I do? You change it all the time. Is it 12 or 2 or is it 20 and 1? And is it, and if I do it this way, am I going to get in? all that stuff? So many rules, people don't know what to do. Anyway, so Tipsy comes to Earth and he brings us to question. We've gotten that, that there's a disconnect between the managers and God because you have God and then you had God's practice, the managers, people that manage, they're the ones that. <clears throat> the priests in any religion the gurus all those that are saying if you love God give us more the Joel Osteens or whatever that D-bag's name is from the Noah's Ark guy that closed his doors during the hurricane wonder if his seats are all full and they're making him rich more um because that's all it's about, right? I talk about money a lot, right? Because here I try to open a dialogue where people make people matter more, but it's not happening. So, Luna! Go girl! So what I decided to do, so then I mock how much, you know, how much money everything is. Because that's all that matters now, right? Money, 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 money. Click, like, subscribe. The bird verifies. So... He comes to Earth and, and, and he, his, his medallion to get home, remote control gets stolen, so somebody tells him that he has to ask God for help, so he goes to find God, then he finds that there's a lot of God, so then he takes on every one of these religions, and uh, 
does what they do so he could ask for help. And then finally, it turn, it, at the end of the movie, he finds out that, that this guru, that um, this woman that he meets, of course, he befriends, she helps him along the way. She's a reporter and she kind of guides and leads him in, in, in direction. There's manipulation in that too, you know, but what are you going to do? But So she, he decides that he's going to... Um, so so now he's like at his wit's end. Now he's like has nothing. He's been thrown in the street. He found his medallion. A guru has it. And and so now he's just like, I don't know what to, I keep asking God. Which, and then he's like, I get it. And finally he, he lets them know that there are wrong numbers. Luna! Go girl! that noise if there's wrong numbers that that these managers that got are asking for help on these people's behalf but it's getting misdialed and then the story unfolds but that's the thing is my point is is people have their own agendas and that is coming up on election day and I think it is hilarious that, that sentence I've heard it forever and sanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting different re results and then at the same freaking point in time and I bet that freaking astrology even aligns. Because they use freaking... The powers of the freaking planet use astrology. And then tell you not to because it doesn't work. <laughs> Anybody freaking of any... I, if I... Dude, if I ever get in a position, I will have astrologists that I would like to work with. Anyway... Um, so the movie just lets you know that, you know, <laughs> bottom line is we only have ourselves. We only really have ourselves to rely on. And if you, this is my 300th video, <coughs> I should have wore a bow tie. <coughs> um, but it's kind of, I just kind of wanted to get it in and out and updated. Everybody's looking for something to believe in. The world is becoming a scary place if according to the news but if you turn that off and you go inside it's really not so bad at all you see all you have is where you are with your hands that's all we have and all we have is this day so if you spend your time even if an appointment comes up today that you don't really necessarily want to do don't think about going to that appointment unless that appointment is today stay in this day stay in this day don't get too far ahead. Your hands aren't in the future and your hands aren't in the back. Be right here. It's the present. It's our gift. What you do with your gift, your present moment, you can take that and feel good with it and be a little weird ray of sunshine that everybody gets. Oh, look at that little. Look at that. I'm going to be the old lady. Oh, I already know. Look at the weirdo, whatever you want. But. It exudes joy, even though you're being insulting. <laughs> Not you, but you know what I mean. When people react poorly. Mostly people want to feel good. I got yelled at yesterday. I was driving, and there was cars parked on both sides of the road, so it made the, 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 the road narrow. And there was a man with earbuds on running down the middle of the road. Earbuds. Because we have to hear for us and them too, right? Because they're pedestrians and... Well, neither of the sidewalk walks were good enough, evidently, for this man. So I just tapped on my horn to let him know I was there so I could get through. And he freaking did not respond positively. So I was like, where would you have me drive? Where would you like me to go? Should I just continue at five miles an hour while you be an asshole pedestrian? And this guy was freaking like fucking became unshoveled like that. That's what makes me, tells me, people don't have peace in them. They don't know how to calm themselves. <clears throat> so what do you think this would, man would have done? If I would have stopped my truck out there in the street, got out and freaking told him about how he's a product of siblings and blah, 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 blah. I mean, you know, if I was some sort of an antagonist, that's what I would have done. I'm not. I am trying to calm the world. And I still often am met with disdain. Ta I, it's just, it's 
funny how people are reacting. That's why I want to move to the freaking forest and my friends can come visit, which I doubt they will because not a lot happened to you anyway. Um, that's another story. Um, but I want, I, that's my vision. I want to get property in Colorado and have some cabins. People want to come stay, learn how to be spiritual practitioners because I've been studying for 40 years. That's a lot. Of, there's a lot of people that don't have experience. Because if you're all love and light and you go out there and spread love and light and something happens, like, God forbid, but terrible things happen every day. Something happens and you... don't handle it well what does that do for those that have that you've given guidance to when they are come up with the same situations that's the thing that sets me apart between me and other people I see is that my experience is more fast it is I don't know anybody else on the planet that has come from where I've come from I kind of went and did a 360. I meant to stop at a 180. The things are lining up, and I know the things are going to work out for me because I have the tenacity. And frankly, there is not one goal that I have had in my whole entire life. I taught, starting from when I taught myself how to ride a bicycle when I was four years old, taught myself because nobody would so I did it myself then I grew up and I got myself in this position where I've gotten so independent that people just don't hear me at all and I'm ready to find my tribe because I'm getting tired and cooperation is nature's way and I think about what this nation could be if that Columbus dude wouldn't have been a dick that day and came in and embraced the native ways but he didn't, he took and he stole, and now this country is reaping its karma. That it's been, it's, it's sowing, it's reaping its karma that it's sown for all these years. And don't feel bad when bad things happen to people. Do not, it's their karma. It's something that they did, created a vibration in them that is going to attract that vibration that is going to make them feel the same way they made somebody else feel, only it's going to be worse. And this is our esoteric world that we live in. And Halloween's coming soon, and I was reminded by Bridget Nielsen, Nelson, yesterday, <coughs> fellow starseed, because <clears throat> we all are, that the veil is thinning. People are going to start seeing more things, entities, beings, and either their psychology is going to crumble and they're going to succumb to the idea of it's the dissonance and the denial is what causes the, the the shoveling. If you accept, hey dude, whether it's a freaking blue or a gray or a freaking, I don't even care dude. I've seen scarier things in life. I've seen my mom get kicked off a second story f floor when I was sick, so pretty sure an alien isn't going to freak me out too much. Anyway, all those people that don't believe in this stuff because somebody told you it wasn't true, well, your, your reality is about to change. My heart goes out to you, kind of. But I just, I just, it's weird to me that people aren't open, so closed off to think that we are the highest thing in the food chain when human beings are the only thing that out of the whole freaking planet that we know of that kill for fun and for sport. Yeah. So, hope you have a rad day. Peace.